There we go, boys. Right. Welcome back to my channel. Um, oh, I'll just drop my key. As I always say at the start of every single video, I just want to thank you again. You guys have been absolutely smashing it with the support, the views, the subscribers. I think right now, now I say this, we're on like 520 subscribers now. The last video I uploaded, we're on like 500 or we, we were about to get to 500. Um, and so it basically every time I upload, it's like you guys just, 20 more of you just appear out of nowhere. And it's like, it's great because all I need to do really is just keep uploading and then we get more and more people viewing the channel. We get more and more people uh, interacting and commenting. And I absolutely love to hear all your comments because it just keeps me entertained. And I'm, uh, it's like just nice to get to know you guys and talk to you and find out what you enjoy. So um, while the car warms up, um, I'm just gonna quickly go over what we're gonna do in this today's video. As you've read the title, you already know what's, what's going down. It's gonna be another POV because you guys absolutely love it. They love the POVs. Whenever I don't do a POV, my views are just tank. They get like a quarter of what they normally do if they are a POV. And seeing as I've built most of these subscribers and this channel off of POV videos, um, I figured, well, I might as well just keep uploading them because you guys obviously love them. And I enjoy making them. They're, they're easy to make. They're, uh, they're fun. I mean, I'd, I'd enjoy, if I didn't have this car and I wanted this car, I'd definitely be like looking for what it's like to drive and almost like um, what it's like to experience it by driving it. So without further ado, we are going to get on to the, today's video and I'm just going to discuss basically what, what I plan on doing to the car. Now, today is the, what day is it? Oh, stupid phone. It's the 11th of July which means it's coming home, England. Come on, we've got to do this. Hopefully this video is up before. Uh, this video should go up today. Um, they're normally pretty quick to edit. Um, so it's the 11th and tomorrow the 12th, I'm getting my exhaust done, assuming the guys who are doing my exhaust aren't hanging because of England. So fingers crossed, they're not football fans because I, if they are, there's no chance my exhaust is getting done. But Anyway, um, so there, there'll be an exhaust video coming soon, what it sounds like stock and what it sounds like now that it's going to be tuned. So we'll catch you in POV mode. Okay, so typical British weather. It's just started raining. So um, hopefully the weather isn't too bad because I'm about to get outside and show you all the things that I plan on changing about my car. Um, so where I can, I'm going to put pictures of um, the things that I'm going to change or uh, an example of the car that or an example of a car that has had that change done to it so first things first is to stealth it out so I'll get out of the car and I'll quickly show you what I mean by stealth it out obviously there's a car fucking putting a roof up that just shows it's about to start raining so basically by stealthing it out i mean you see all like the silver bits on here hopefully you can see the silver bits and the blue bits i want to change them um to black so where, where, basically wherever it's silver i want it to be black i want the trims uh the uh, what they're called the caps the hub caps for the tire that's filthy Ugh, look at that needs a clean I want them to be changed to the spinning ones so that like you know like when not to be all like rolls royce and that but like so that the uh they spin so they're always saying bmw at the top instead of how they are right now um with the tires as well the t uh, tires the rims hopefully hang on yeah you're recording so with the rims as well i want to change those to like a competition style so you know how the m2 competition wheels look i want to change them to how they are um, the back is pretty much how I'm wanting it to look, except for the chrome bit here. Obviously, the black BMW, uh, I want the blue to be black. The M140i, I want it to be not silver, I want it to be black. Just have a quick look at the car, how it's sitting now. It's sitting loads better to how it was before, especially with the spaces out, spread apart. Um, 
the side nothing to change really it's already blacked out i don't want to get tinted windows on the front because obviously that's illegal and i don't want to be running into trouble now i cleaned the back wheels a while ago and i cleaned the front wheels um uh, the back ones have stayed kind of shiny to be fair so um i'm gonna redo this uh tire wall writing i might get stickers some proper stickers but if i don't three pound pencil job and a bit of elbow grease does the job does the job so um i want to fix any issues like this dent here that's pissing me off oh yeah and these side fender uh, i want those to be black as well carbon mirror caps they're fine might get a new spoiler because i don't know if this is a cheapo you know because when i bought the car this was already on it and obviously i'm not going to take it off because I, I like how it looks but it started to fade in the sun so it might i'm not saying it's real carbon fiber because i don't think carbon real carbon fiber would fade like that i think it might just be a, a plastic with a carbon fiber trim on it so i could either re-trim it which would save me a lot of money or i could just get a new spoiler maybe sell that one for cheap i don't know um might get a new set of front tires as well because well they're budgets at the minute and i've got expensive ones on the back which is where it counts to be fair you want the expensive and the good ones on the back if you're driving this thing where it's sending all 340 horsepower to the back wheels with that being said i'm actually going to check to see what this is running because i know for a fact that these cars aren't 340 like bmw state because everything about the car is quicker than 340 it keeps up with 400 horsepower cars very easily or it doesn't get gapped like it should like a good 60 to 80 horsepower should leave it it keeps up with them like they're on par so that makes me think this is at least 380 so i'm gonna get that dyno pretty soon um and i think i'll do that in a future video it's gonna cost me about 50 quid to get it dynoed and to get it on the ramp and get three runs but then i'll know an actual power band and that'll be the start of where i take it now i am only really planning to go to stage one but with that being said i'm going stage one with a sports cat so it should be able to breathe a lot easier with the sports cat as opposed to it just being stage one with the cat that it's got in it now um so i think for the outside and performance wise performance is a completely different ball game i'm not going for performance in this video i'm just talking about strictly what i'm going to do to it cosmetically to make it look a lot nicer than it does at the minute so let's just whack up ways so we don't get uh caught out so in terms of um outside like a, what like what i've just ran through the wheels the the stealth making it stealth i know it's a white car so it's not going to be stealth but you get what i'm saying I'm, I'm i'm stealthing everything that isn't white i'm gonna make it black so um i think yeah, obviously i bought the white car because i wanted this car either in white or black i'm not bothered about blue i mean the orange looks very nice but i didn't see any orange cars for sale when i was looking I th if this car was orange i probably would have bought it still because orange and black it does look very nice it's a uh, valencia orange it's um it's not a it's a very nice glossy type of orange it's like a blood orange if you will um that's a nice color however uh, the blue as well i'm not a big fan my, my dad likes blue cars he's had a few um but I, i'm personally i like to keep it simple black and white is, is good for me moving on to that exterior wise we've talked about what i want to do performance that's a whole different video and the dyno video will be coming soon along with the exhaust video coming soon so if you haven't already subscribed like the other 520 absolute g's have please do become one of us um you won't regret it and if you don't like it you can always unsubscribe no one's forcing you it's free it takes two seconds and it'll make my day so please do if you haven't already liked the video as well please do like the video and we'll get into the interior mods that i want to get done now same same goes for the outside i'm really trying to make this um i'm trying to make this car as simple as I can so the steering wheel for now the stock steering wheel I think it's the M performance steering wheel 
but the stock wheel is good enough for me. I'm not a fan of this little plastic trim at the bottom because sometimes when you're doing a full turn, you know, when you're like reversing and with one hand and stuff, you end up catching it and it, it, it doesn't sound the greatest quality. It sounds a bit, bit cheap and plasticky. So I'm not a big fan of that. So maybe at some point, maybe a couple years down the line, because it really isn't at the top of my priority, is to get that changed and sorted out to maybe a flat bottom with a carbon um, carbon top, maybe, I don't know. There's a lot of steering wheel options, um, but obviously it's got to be able to support the paddle shifters because this is an automatic car. If it was a manual, I could just stick anything in it, but it's got to support the, or at least have room for the paddle shifters to go on because I drive this car almost always in manual, semi-auto, which makes me wonder why I didn't get the manual, but there's not that many out there to be fair. And the auto on this is just so good that when you want, when you know, when you want, you've got your Mackies next to you and you can't wait to get home. So you, you scratch <laughs> granny in the chips, you know how it is. Uh, you don't want to be changing, having to change gears with your, with your greasy hands. So one hand steering is good enough. Um, so the interior, the screen, absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with the screen at all. It's the, it, I, was, I thought that was my car then. This, I, I doubt you'd be able to hear that anyway. Um, so the screen is the upgraded Pro Nav screen. I never use the actual maps on there because I've always got Waze on instead. Um, I've, I've probably used it twice, so. But it's still a nice feature to have if I didn't have my phone and I was lost, or let's say I lost my phone and I was absolutely stuck. I've got the sat nav there to, to keep me going. So, screen, absolutely fine. This whole front dash, fine. I might have to get rid of a couple of them because I'm pretty sure they don't even smell now. Uh, shout out Auto ID for hooking me up with that one. That was free, obviously, or it was my order anyway. Um, and then, um, I think I'll probably, with this silver, the silver trim here, I want to get that carbon or a carbon effect. It's not gonna be a real carbon because that's like 90 quid for a carbon piece that only I'm or my girlfriend's gonna look at. I'm not that bothered. It's mainly exterior work that needs to be done or wants to be done. The black roof, that's fine. Nothing needs to change there. Um, the steering wheel, as I've said, that's good enough for me right now. It's it's a nice wheel. It's, a, it's not the thickest of wheels, but I've got big hands anyway, so. You know, I can wrap my whole hand around it comfortably. It's, it's leather, so it's grippy. Um, Alcantara would be nice, but the whole theme of this car is pretty much leather, so it, it'd sort of be the odd one out. So I think probably leather will stick. Um, so that trim I want to change, but it's not, again, not the top of my priority um, of things to do. Um, the silver bit here and the silver gear knob, the um, the silver trim, basically any silver trim in this car, I really want to just black out or carbon, so that it, it's. I know it will make it a little bit boring because it will be it's just black everything, so you won't even be able to tell on the videos. But to me, I just like to keep it simple. If everything's blacked out in here, I, I'm not looking at anything. I'm not distracted by anything. It's more. I can look on the road besides these great pillars the a pillar and the b pillar being an absolute blind spot nightmare uh, i can focus more on the road so i know they're not distracting or anything like that but you get what i'm trying to say it, it, it's stealthing it out and i i'm a i'm a simple guy that likes to keep things everything simple it's just uh, it's just how i am it's just how i roll um that being said this thing here don't think I'll bother with that, you know, just like the door handle, because if that was black, you wouldn't be able to see anyway, you wouldn't be able to open it. So it, when it's useful and when it's being actually used, you want to be able to see it. So the silver trim there, I'm not that fussed about. I'm not even sure I'm fussed about the back because the, how tall I am, I'm, I'm, I'm sat pretty much all the way in the back anyway, which is why I've got such a bad blind spot here, because I'm in line with the door pillar. Um, so in hindsight, I would have got a three door, however, the five door still looks good and it is more practical for when I am picking people up. Um, so the back, I'll probably do nothing to. Um, I could get rid of the back seats, but then what's the point in having five doors if you're gonna have no back seats? It's a bit pointless, really. It's like having a door with no door handle. You know what I mean? So, um, 
That being said, I think that's pretty much everything I want to do to this car. Once that's done, I don't know what I'll do. I think I'll, I'll move on to the performance mods after I've got everything looking how I want to look on the inside and the outside. But again, the outside is priority because I don't, I'm not that forced. It's only me that's looking on the inside and obviously you guys watching the video, but I doubt you'll, you'll not subscribe because I've got a silver trim or... Anyway, we've got, we've got Bling that duck here looking after me all the time. So that adds at least like 10 cool points, you know what I mean? Um, I'm now chatting ballocks again. So, but you, you guys already knew that, you know, you, that's why you subscribed. You, you like listening to me talk shit. So, um, I think with that being said, I'll just shut up and drive for the next couple of minutes and then we'll just, uh, we'll just end the video there. So if you have enjoyed the video and you have, um, if you've got any thoughts or what you think I should do to the car or what you think I could do or what you've got, you've done to your M140 or 135 or even any Beamer or any car, what you've done to your car, let me know about it in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear and see pictures. So if you have any pictures of your car that you want to show me, I'm always up for it. Oh, not that bit this bit um, I'm always up for it shoot me a message on my Instagram my DMs are always open I try to respond to everyone as best I can uh, because I, I again uh, the same reason I like all the comments it's just you guys it's nice to talk to you nice to talk to the guys that are listening and watching my videos week in week out um, I think the past 28 days we've been smashing on the views we've got nearly 10,000 10,000 views in the last 28 days and bear in mind my entire channel views at the moment are sitting around 40,000 that's a quarter of views just coming from the last month so when I say you've been killing it you guys really have you've been smashing it so I want to say a big thank you for that I'm I don't know where I am actually I don't know why I come this way because there's nothing up here it's just all houses so with that being said I'm gonna end it here hopefully you enjoyed if you did please smash the like button consider subscribing if you haven't already let's get to a thousand by the end of the year i know we guys can do it because right now we're picking up subscribers like 1-0 it's 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 flying up so so i don't know why i put my hand up to him <laughs> it wasn't even in the way um so yeah please con consider subscribing drop me a comment let me know what you want to see i always reply i always do my best to reply to, to the comments even if it's an old video you know, you guys, I love it. And hopefully you enjoy the videos. I think that's a 135. Yeah, we've got a 135 there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll catch you in the next one, which will probably be an exhaust video. So hopefully make sure you stay tuned and put your, your ears on because we're gonna have to find the difference between stock and what's being done tomorrow. So thank you again and have a great day. Peace.